So it could be really interesting to know what, what would be the outcome of this, but I guess... Yeah, well, one of the things I find most inspiring about this whole thing is that we don't have an outcome. We don't, we're just fed up and we're talking about it and we're trying to get a voice and a, and a discussion started. And some of us from all from these movements have all different political ideals and what we think would solve the problem, but we all agree on the fact that there is a problem. And we just want our elected officials to know that and to start listening to us as a people. Um, you know, personally, I would love to get to a more of a uh, egalitarian, uh, some might call it socialist state. Uh, I know there's people here that are for Ron Paul that want more of a libertarian state. I know there's people here that are hardcore uh, socialists that want a very much socialist state. And there are people here that are um, more for reforming capitalism and making it work for us and like, staying within the democratic process that we have. But uh, what unites us all is the fact that we feel we don't have a voice right now in our government. Right on, you know, like uh, what everyone can agree with is that uh, for, in some way this system is not working for me and it's right. not getting it. It doesn't have the trend that seems yeah. it's self equalizing. It's yeah. not going back and forth. It's just right. going right forth now. And the, forth gap, and forth. the gap between the rich and the poor is yeah. ever widening and we can't figure out how to solve that. And the fact that they pitched this American dream to us for so long and people are trying to get it and they still can't. They still can't. They can't, they can't successfully uh, attain the American dream. And in my opinion, that American dream is a falsehood that doesn't exist, uh, but for whatever uh, the group opinion is, we all do agree that there's a problem, the system is not working.